Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I have hit a really good clearance sale and I wanna show you guys what I got. So right here, this is what we call cowboy toilet paper, but it's also lamb's ear. And it was um, $7.98 originally, and then it ended up being about four bucks each for these. And I got two, actually I got three because we used to have them like right there until we put this monstrosity up and then I had to relocate it, but then they didn't make it um, through the relocation. So um, I have been wanting to get more, so I'm grateful to find these on clearance and I grabbed three and I'm so excited. They're so pretty. I love the silvery fuzzy foliage of these. Next up is another silver foliage plant that I love. This is Artemisia. Let me make sure I'm pronouncing that right. Artemisia Silver Mound. Um, it was $7.99 from Rural King, but it also was 30% off. So super good deal. I have this one here that is going to go um, in the back bed there. And then I have two others that I got a couple weeks ago. I still need to get these guys planted, but I think they're gonna go um, in my front, new front garden bed. Um, it's better for me to plant smaller plants in that bed because there are so many tree roots to kind of navigate around. So these two small ones are gonna go in the front bed around the corner. So back over here, I found this gorgeous, gorgeous coneflower. Look at that. So it was 50% off. And let me show you, it's got a bloom on it. It's so pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. Pretty. I just love this so much. And it's got other buds over here. And then next up, um, this is not part of the clearance that's part of oh wait wait is it part of, no not part of the clearance sorry okay here we are all right oh, this is baptisia i've wanted one of these for like a year or two probably like two years so this is the decadence deluxe pink lemonade and i know i've been saying this in videos but i actually that i wanted this one because i have another baptisia and i'll show you i'll show you it so here's my other Baptisia. It has bloomed and it is kind of on its way out now, but it was so beautiful. So when I bought this one, I was actually looking for the pink lemonade one, but it was not, you know, available in my area. So I got this one and I have not been mad about it. I mean, the blooms were so gorgeous this year this is the best year that it has bloomed for me and i can't wait to see how big this plant gets over the years and how much more gorgeous the blooms get okay so back to the pink lemonade um so this one is gonna look pretty much exactly like the one i just showed you except for the blooms will be a different color yellow and pink so I can't wait for this. And it looks like it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, got new growth on it. Does have some broken branches. This actually looks like um, like something ate those. I know deer come by our lows a lot, and they they eat. They come here and they get to eat like whatever they want because you know Lowe's stores plants out front of the store. Um, so yeah. So anyways, I found this bottle rocket plant. They had a bunch of these, but I already have three so far that I bought um, over the years on clearance. Um, I actually did a video on some of the ones that I bought a couple years ago. Um, the video is titled The Worst Clearance Plants Ever, and it is this um, same plant. Um, these guys are very susceptible to being, you know, they don't do well if they're not watered properly. So. They will wilt, they will look sad, and you'll wonder what the heck is going on with them. But um, yeah, they just need a good watering. Um, they prefer shade, part shade, mostly shade, and they do beautifully. I love the big leaves. I love the structure of the leaf. 
um, I like the the little serrated or sharp edges along the leaf um, this is gonna go in that back bed there um, I might grab some more this year but I have a lot that bed back there is full of big leaved plants and I'll show you where I want to put this but then also show you like some of the bigger foliage I have going on back there I it might just kind of blend in with the other foliage but you guys can tell me if, what you think let's go check it out so this is the spot I want it to go in this is my back bed this is what it looks like So you guys tell me, I've got this Brunnera big leaf. See how big that leaf is? I've got Darmera peltata, which is a big leaf. Then I've got some really big hostas back here. I think this is Hosta Wu, big leaf. Brunnera again, Hosta, big Hosta right there. Big Brunnera, big Hosta big darmera like look at look at that leaf so i've got quite a few big leaf things i need some taller things kind of to back this area i think there's one digitalis back there lone he definitely was a seed that got dropped there from someplace else in the garden but you can see how how big all the leaves are so I don't know if I should do something with a different leaf structure here or maybe just continue it all the way down here um, I think it would be beautiful there but I also kind of want to make the beds look maybe not so repetitive you guys tell me what you think about that space It's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little clearance haul. Let me know what you think about planting that bottle rocket back there with all the other big leaf plants. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.